Hello, I'm going to start a video here. Uh, this video is Vogel Family, 1940s, part two. I'm in high school, I can see that. And those were a couple guys and a friend. And I think we're packing up the car and we're probably going on a picnic, looks like. That's the driveway in front of my house. So there we are. That was at Lake Geneva, I think. Notice the cars as they go by. Would you believe that guy asked me to marry him? I'm sure he was a nice guy, but I was only 17. He said his parents married young, and he thought we could too. Okay, now we're going to start over. Here I am as a baby, and that must be in Chicago. My father, I'm sure, took that. He had the movie camera and all the lighting. And of course, since I was an only child, I was the main subject. And there's my great-grandfather, George Paul Vogel. He lived with us. And he was my father's grandfather. His, my dad's father had all moved out to California. And there I am. And we kept, they called him Gramps. We kept Gramps at our house and he lived with us. Every day he dressed up in a suit, suit and a tie and a vest. And these are white. Some of the films are uh, white and are, are uh, black and white and some are in color. Yeah, it was probably 1940, maybe going into 41. So you kind of think where the World War II was at that time. Hitler, um, Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in 41, so they hadn't attacked Pearl Harbor yet. December 7th, 1941. A day that will live in infamy. Well, that was before that. And there's my dad. He either has the camera on a tripod or my mother's taking it. I guess the tripod, maybe. Oh, look who's holding me. That must be my mother. Couldn't fall. That scarf around me. They used to call those babushkas. I think we were just close enough to the Europeans coming over here that that was pretty common in Europe. <clears throat> so that was my babushka. Here's my little stroller. So how old would I be there? I don't know, maybe a year? Maybe nine months? It was probably the summer of 41, I'm guessing. I 
And I was born and my mother was 29. So that would make her about 30 on there, I think. They're 29 or 30. That was our apartment. And Esther owned the apartment building. Oh, I was one year old. See, there you go. We live 1257 Cornelia in Chicago. The building was on the corner of Cornelia and Lakewood Avenue. You can check it out on Google Earth. That was my grandmother. That was my mother's mother. She came from Germany when she was uh, nine years old with her brother and her, her family, her mother and father. And that was Gramps. So Gramps from my father's side and the grandma from my mother's side. And I think Mark and Tracy have the cabinet behind me, the china cabinet. And there's Billy. He was my cousin. I loved Billy. He was 10 years older than me. He was a magician. And she, he is uh, Linda Peters Schaefer's father. And where are we there? Oh, I, you know what I think that is? We're out in California now. That's Knox Berry Farm, I'll bet anything. And I am probably, I think I just graduated from high school, could be. And there I am with my cousin Pat, my Uncle Harry. Harry was Poppy's brother. So I think that was 1958. That's when I graduated high school. And there's my mother. And there's Uncle Harry. There's Pat. Pat's no longer living, but I do play Words with Friends with her sister, Elaine. Maybe Elaine will show up here. That's my mother and Aunt Sally. They were good friends. Oh, there's Disneyland. Mm 
Yeah, it was early on. Because I was 18, that was 1958. That's before there was a Disney World. The Matterhorn. EWA, it says. Oh, there we are, back in our picnic. That's where we start it. <laughs> and coming home. Well, there I am. Must be Sunday morning. Must be on my way to church. What do you think? And look, my dad's building the garage in the back. That's our driveway. Okay, I, here we go. We're at the polo field now in Curtis. They had a polo field out there and uh, wasn't too far from our where we used to live before we moved to town. There's Canax, there's Judy Theobald, Jean Porsner. Those are all Look how we dressed, my God.
You can see that was a horse show. Everyone has a number on their back. And I think we were there to award the ribbons because there goes Judy. Looks like she's giving a ribbon to somebody. And that's probably what I was doing that day. I bet I had the camera. Now this is on the California Zephyr, on the way to California. We would go to Chicago and pick up the train. That is the Vista Dome. And we had, we were usually sat in the regular cars, but the Vista Dome was open seating. And when we went through the mountains, you know, everyone wanted to sit up there. And here we must have, um, we got to Oakland and then we took a ferry from Oakland to San Francisco. And that's where we are now, we're on the ferry. Coming into San Francisco, because my grandparents, my father's parents, lived in San Francisco. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing. There's a Golden Gate, I think. But it's interesting. The train came into Oakland, then the next step was the ferry. I'm sure my father took these pictures. That was all very exciting. Oh, and there's Elaine. Seeing the Elaine with the white dress. She's the one now I play words with all the time. And that is Aunt Elizabeth. Right there. That's Elaine. Me. Uncle Harry's in the back. And my grandfather is behind. I think that's him. And Aunt Anna. My grandmother was Mary. She had uh, brothers too. But she had two sisters that lived nearby. Aunt Anna and Aunt Elizabeth. There's Elaine and I. As I said, we play words now all the time. And I think that was Hollywood and Vine. NBC. We saw Bob Hope. When we were, we saw his show. I think we saw some other ones too, but can't remember. Vine Street, there you go. Oh, now this is good. This is my birthday party, everybody. This when we still lived on Curtis. So we moved when I was about 13. So I'm thinking I'm either my, may be my 12th birthday party, let's say. And Mr. Schneering sent over the, uh, that's called the basket. 
and we'd love to ride in that, and the ponies would pull it. Now, I want you to look for a boy with a plaid shirt, because that will be Ray, and he kind of comes in and out of the picture. There he is, a blue plaid, see it? That's Ray. And that's me. And we had, a, we had a lot of fun living out on the farm. We called it the farm. It was really an estate. There's Ray. See him? I don't know what we're doing. I think we might be having a scavenger hunt. Keep your eye out for Ray. There he is again. But I had my, it looks like I had my whole class. I must have invited everybody. And Grandpa and I had the hardest time trying to figure out if he was there. I said, well, I wouldn't have asked everybody and not you. So we were pretty sure he was there. And then we found him. And it was that blue shirt, blue plaid. Okay, here I am. That was our little dog, Taffy. Little Cocker Spaniel. And that was before we moved to town. And I was about 13, I'd say, when we moved to town. So we bought our house. Those were the trout pools. Hertz used to own that estate. And uh, he had these lakes loaded with trout. And he liked to go fishing. And then uh, Mr. Schneering brought it from Hertz. Hertz is a cab company and a bunch of other stuff. And, of course, Schneering was president of the Curtis Candy Company. And in, uh, we moved out here from Cary in 1943, from Chicago in 1943. Oh, the Girl Scouts. There we go. Look at all the Girl Scouts. And that's the train. Still running today. In fact, I wrote on it a couple years ago. I don't know what that means, 400. There's the train. Tim and Leah and I were in Chicago, and uh, we went to go out to Cary, and we got on the train, <clears throat> same train. I think that's Mr. Schneering on, at the speaker's podium. Otto Schneering. And every day, every um, Memorial Day in Cary, we had the parade. Every Memorial Day. Same parade. There's the brownies. And there's the six pony hitch. Baby Ruth Candy. Oh, that was our neighbor. And he was just being silly. That was in Cary. That was after we bought our house. And back to the brownies. And 
He has some school friends. They were just looking for something to do because I was taking, I'm sure I had the camera at this point. I was taking some movies. That was in the Cary Park, right below our house. And that was Park Avenue. Look, my house was on Park Avenue. That street's not even paved. And there's our house through the trees up on Park Avenue. 106 West Park Avenue, Cary, Illinois. Google Earth it. And there's the pond beneath our house. My dad would get off the train, and there was a little bridge because the, the pond turned into a little creek, and then there was a bridge going across the creek. And he would come across the bridge, and then he'd climb up the hill home. So we were so close to the uh, station. I don't know who that is. I'm trying to see. There's the police. See the restaurant back there? That was Riney's. And when Ray was in high school, he would go behind Riney's after school and smoke cigarettes. I knew he did it. Here's Taffy. Oh, and my Uncle Mike, that was Edith's husband. He coached Little League. And I think this is a Little League game. We were all just kind of fooling around. He loved coaching the boys, but he said the parents drove him crazy. And he died uh, the day before Kim was born. He had heart surgery at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Well, there I am. Is that a little carnival? Oh, no, there's Elaine. That must be out in California. Hi, Elaine. And there's my dad. Looks like he has both Elaine and me. Well, where am I now? Looks like it might be the Grand Canyon. Yeah, this is, we probably drove to California, and either this is probably going home, maybe coming, I don't know, but uh, these are probably some of the sites on the way, the Great Divide trading, Great Divide, 
And these were the little types of motels we stayed at, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, they, and they called them motor courts. That one had a garage, that was nice. But we would check in, my father was very friendly. He usually made friends with the owner and Yeah, see the mountains. And then he had made these friends, and every time we would come back, then we'd stay at the same spot. Now, that's my cousin Pam. I haven't been able to locate her. She was uh, just a year younger, a few months younger than me. That's my mother. I tried to find Pam. I can't find her anywhere. I know she was an artist and she had shows and that's about all I know. There we are. Pam and I. Pam was Ed's daughter, and Ed was the brother that fought in World War II, and he was shot down over Italy. They must be in Chicago. They must visit us in Chicago. That's our apartment. So anyway, my grandfather and my grandmother on my father's side, they had four boys. My dad was the oldest. And every one of those boys had girls. Nobody to carry on the Vogel name. All girls. It's Pam's mother, Catherine. And there's Gramps. See, he's got his vest on and his tie. And he was old. He was in his 90s. His family came from Elsass, that area between France and Germany. 
and his family came over here and he was the last child to be born and he was born in this country. He was born in the United States, but his brothers and sisters were all born over in Alsace. Got some snow. Some caves. That's my Aunt Esther. She was the nicest woman. She was so good to me. And that's her husband. That's Uncle Carl. And he died probably not too long after this picture was taken. And uh, after a time, then she remarried, married Art, Art Algren. It was all around Chicago. I don't know where exactly. His name was Diesel. That was Art Diesel. I mean, uh, Carl Diesel. You know that little sewing box I have with all the pieces? That was from his family. That was his mother's, in fact. His father gave it to his mother as an engagement gift. And Esther just loved it. And she gave it to me. She says, now I want to make sure you have this. Oh, we're playing crow. Let's see. Shuffleboard. Now croquet. I haven't played croquet in a while. Uncle Carl's playing horseshoes. That's Uncle Carl.
Yeah, back and carry it looks like. Looks like Main Street. We've got the pony, six pony hitch or what? Is that me? It looks like me. Bet it is. go. Buy you, buy you more bonds, it says in the back. That was during World War II. Look at the cars. Six pony hitch. Going down Spring Street now. That's Mrs. Schneering, Dorothy Schneering. When Grandpa and I got married, she gave a wonderful uh, bridal shower for me. I see a baby roof and a vending machine. I can't help but trigger thoughts of these days. Yeah, I'm getting a special ride, it looks like. That's a Fox River. That's my mother and I. That's up on what we call Turkey Hill. And that's where Curtis had kept their turkeys. Now we're riding around Curtis Farms now. That was the boarding house. See the boarding house back there? <laughs> 